The Balkan legends such as Georgia Haji, Dimitar Berbatov, Davor Shuker, Sergei Barberez are all great names in the Balkan region of Europe. But who do I start in my top 11 of all time? And just a heads up, I'm going to be extremely biased. A lot of these players I watched growing up and left a great memory or I read about them and feel like they should have been on this list. So let's just jump straight into this. Because this is my starting 11, we're going to go for 3-4-3. Three, three. That's 3 defenders, 4 midfielders, and 3 attackers. My number 1 forward is Edin Dzeko, and that's because I've been watching him since 2007 and I've become a huge fan. He's still actively playing, but he's always left memories for me in the past, the Euros, everything. The, the goal against France was my favorite of all time. <laughs> But I believe when his career is over, which is almost near, he's 34 years old, he's going to be an all-time Bosnian great if he hasn't made that mark already. There's a reason we call him the Diamond. And he's earned it. Beda Debišević also deserves a shout, but he's not on Jekyll's level. My other forwards are debatable. There are so many great Yugo legends and Balkan legends. Like I mentioned, Sergei Barberez, a Bosnian legend from 1998 to 2006. I haven't really watched him play because I was young and pretty much when I started watching, he retired and Jacob pretty much replaced him. We also have Safed Susic, the Pape, the goal scorer for PSG. Davor Šuker, the Croatian legend who scored amazing goals throughout his career and continues to have great stories. And I'll have to give to Davor Šuker. If you can find me anybody, anybody who gets more praise than this guy, good luck. Davor Šuker is an amazing Croatian legend and he's always going to be in his words. I don't know anybody that doesn't mention Davor Šuker as a Balkan legend. And that's why he's on this list next to Jekyll. My third forward spot goes to Darko Pančev. He's not really known amongst the international world, but in Belgrade and across the Balkan region, he's known. The Maradona look like has some great stories. He was from Macedonia, but I remember my dad telling me stories about him and me reading about him. He was a beast with goals for Vardar and Sirvna Zvezda. He ended up winning the Champions League with Sirvna Zvezda, so it's very well deserved to be on this list. Moving on to midfield, this was a challenge. We literally have the greatest midfielders in the Balkan region. We have Robert Prosunecki, Mira Lampjanic, Dejan Stankovic, Srečko Katanac, Luka Modric. Bro, we have amazing midfielders all around. But because there are four spots, I'm gonna give one of the spots to Luka Modric. I don't think people will argue me with this one. Modric has had an amazing career. He has proven to be a Croatian great. He may challenge Davor Šuker for greatest Croatian player despite them playing in different positions. Modric is getting up there and I believe he's already made his mark in the Croatian history books. This is just my opinion, but I believe there are so many great Balkan players. Zvezda Misimic, for example. His passing and connections with Jacob were truly amazing. I believe playing in Wolfsburg together really helped their chemistry on the national team. I just, I just have nothing but good memories about Misimovic and Jekyll's partnership when they were playing on an international team and for Wolfsburg. Pjanic still has a lot left in his career and I feel like he's already made a dent in the history for best mid midfielders in Bosnia. But I don't know, Misimovic just left that great nostalgic feeling and I felt like I had to put him on my list. If this was the greatest Bosnian players ever list, then I'm adding Misimovic, Salihamidzic and maybe even Sead Salihovic. But this is the Balkan list, not the Bosnia list. And I feel like I gotta add people from before my time, so it validates the chart. The other two spots go to Srećko Katanac and Dejan Savicevic. Katanac is from Slovenia and is said to be one of the greatest football players from Slovenia. That, that says a lot knowing that their best Slovenian players are goalkeepers. And maybe Ilicic. Katanac was great for Yugoslavia, helping them in the Olympics and World Cup. After they split up, he played for Slovenia for a short time before retiring. Dejan Savicevic wasn't gonna make my list because I didn't know him. But doing many readings and articles and research about this guy, I felt like I needed to give him one. Savicevic is from Montenegro and is actually the president of the FA in Montenegro. He played on Cedrona Zvezda's Champions League team before moving to AC Milan. He's won titles with AC Milan and Zvezda, and I truly I felt like I wouldn't be doing the list justice if I didn't add him on, onto my list. Now we're on defenders, and there is also so much to choose from in defenders. We got Mihailovic, Amir Rahimic, the Albanian Lorikana, Emir Spahic. We have a lot of people to choose from. Again, this is my bias talking, but I'm adding Emir Spahic on my list. He's been on the Bosnian team for so long, and I just couldn't leave him off the list. 
I've been watching him since I was young and I just grew up to love him and he just brings nostalgia to the field. I even jumped the fence here in Jacksonville just to get a picture with him. The other two are less biased. I'm putting Mihailovic and Nemanja Vidic. Nemanja Vidic in my opinion is the best Serbian defender and no way anyone is beating him on this list. I'm sure he's made history at Manchester United along with the Serbian national team. He was such a boss ass defender and I just loved watching him when he was, when he was at Man U. And Mihailovic he was both a midfielder and a defender but I figured it was best to put him on defender because that's that's the most clips I've seen of him playing was defenders. But I added him mostly on this list because of his free kicks. Mihailovic was one of the greatest at scoring free kicks in the Serie A. I feel like I should have added him as one of the 11 as a midfielder, but like I said, I needed defenders and he played a well defender. So that's that's my top 10 right there. And you need goalkeeper. I don't know much with goalkeepers. I literally am clueless when it comes to greatest blocking goal goalkeeper. For some reason, I got Stipe Pletikosa coming into my head. And he played for Croatia. So, that's his lot. Or uh, Stojkovic, Vladimir Stojkovic from Serbia. And he, he just recently retired from the Serbian team. So that's where my knowledge of uh, goalkeepers come from. I won't choose a keeper, but that's my starting 10. Maybe I could add that Albanian keeper, Foto Starkosha. But that's my list. We have Edin Dzeko as a striker, Davor Shuker, Darko Pancev, those are my forwards. Then moving on to midfield, we have Luka Modric, Zvezda Mishimovic, Svetko Katanac and Dejan Savicovic. Defenders, we have Mihailovic, Emir Spahic, Nemanja Vidic. And for goalkeeper, like I said, I don't know who to add. Let's add this Albanian keeper for the freak of it. But yeah, let me know who you put on the list. I know I left out Dimitar Berbatov because he was a sick player, but my bias gave me Jekyll, so that's why I put Jekyll on there. But what would you change? Let me let you know in the comments below, please. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. This has been your boy, Fun. Like the video, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.